Hello everybody. This week is going to be one of the most important weeks, not only for 2024, but maybe for a few years to come. What we have this week is a presidential election in America on Tuesday. And as you may know, Trump and Kamala Harris are competing on this important election. Both have different views in the economy. Trump wants to cut the tax on companies and people. Trump wants to support the oil industry in America. Why? Because he wants to control the oil prices and not make sure not to increase the prices. At the same time, Kamala Harris wants to make higher taxes on business or higher taxes on wealthy people. At the same time, Kamala Harris and Democratic Party are supporting the renewable energy. So it's going to be a very tough competition in America on a Tuesday. And we have to see higher volatility starting from a Tuesday. So on Monday, we are not going to see a lot of volatility after what we have seen in the last week. Last week, U.S. indices fell. Oil prices increased by more than 5%. Gold was stable, silver lost 3%. And at the same time, we have seen that dollar index, USD index, DXY, drop by almost 0.5%. This week on Tuesday, with US presidential election, we have Bank of Australia rate decision, and the rate in Australia is at 4.35. And at the same time on Tuesday, we have BMI services numbers from America, Employment Cost Index and New Orders in America. And at the same time, we have the weekly crude oil inventories in America issued by API. On Wednesday, we will have Christine Lagarde, ECB President's speech. We will have as well BMI services from Eurozone, Germany, Spain and France. And on Thursday, we will have exports and imports from China. And it's a going to be a very important big Thursday. Bank of England rate decision and the Federal Reserve rate decision. And both Federal Reserve and Bank of England have the rate at 5%. And both are likely to cut the rates by 0.25. So cutting the rates is already price end. So why? We have to see, we have to look at the forward guidance and we have to think how the Federal Reserve and Bank of England are looking at the economy. What is the expectation and short-term outlook in America and UK? Not to forget that the Federal Reserve rate decision will be on Thursday, so it will be after the election. On Friday, we will have the European Union Summit and University of Michigan the Consumer Sentiment Index, which is very important as well. So as we have said before, higher volatility ahead. And you have to make sure that you manage your risk exposure starting from it Tuesday. Because if Trump wins or Kamala Harris wins, it doesn't matter. What matters is that the markets will be very volatile. And if Trump wins, this is going to be likely to be positive for crypto. Why? Because Trump announced before full support to digital, to digital and the cryptocurrency. But it is still early to the judge. So we have to see who is going to be the winner, who will be the next U.S. president. For more details and analysis, follow us on BD Swiss Mina. Thank you very much.